hi this video is completely unplanned unedited um i guess it's partially planned um but um i have notified other communities um over the last three weeks and today i decided i wanted to share publicly you all have walked out this journey with me quite a bit and so that's the other reason i want to tell you uh, mainly youtube because you all have seen so much of my journey since 25 um and taking a leap with my first relationship uh so yeah so to get into it um very briefly uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I was engaged, um, I was proposed to uh, on June 21st and it was so surprising and shocking and uh, it took a while to even settle in. Um, we were preparing for marriage but I don't know if I knew it was going to be that soon as far as that week. Um, but yeah, and very shortly after, um, I was no longer engaged. Um, that was the decision that I chose to make um, based on what I felt I had to do. Um, on the basis of things that came out um, after our engagement. And this video is not for details, it's not for explaining myself or trying to justify my decision to anyone um, or owing anyone an explanation. Um, it's not that. So I'm not going to get into that and um, I keep saying that as you all know for sure on this platform that when God turns something into a testimony for me or encourages my vulnerability to share, then I do. Um, I don't withhold what I believe God wants me to share with the platform that he's blessed me with, um, which is not, you know, huge, but it's enough um, and it has made an impact. And so I'm very cautious and careful about how I use the platforms that I've been given. Um, so at some point in the future, I believe God will bring a testimony out of this. But right now, it's just been a heavy season a lot of darkness, a lot of confusion for me, a lot of pain, um, a lot of just total uncertainty and feeling like I am treading water in the middle of the ocean. And I am. To put it plainly, um, this is just an unprecedented season of life. There's no manual, there's no yeah, there's no clear way to navigate it. And so I'm just trying to take care of myself and listen to what I need, what my body needs. Um, I am thankfully back in counseling. And so, um, yeah, it's, um, I believe God prepared my community and the resources and supports around me for this season of my life and I didn't even realize didn't even realize it was coming um so again this video is just to let it be known um I'm really tired of feeling like I'm living in the shadows about it even though it's you know been almost a month or just under a month um but I am ready to get back to life and living <laughs> um and just moving forward in whatever way i can so that is what motivated me to share today kind of ripped the band-aid off and it's like okay it's out there now i'm going to move forward with life so um <clears throat> i like i said this video is super unedited and i'm posting just to get it out there um i have a ton of vlogs that i was actually in the process of <laughs> um editing and getting up for you all you all saw the first two um and then everything kind of went down and i've been kind of stuck ever since so in getting back to life i plan to still go back and edit those vlogs and get you all caught up to present day as far as the other things that have been going on in my life and um yeah as always walk this journey out 
with you all. Um, I don't know how much of it I will process on camera because there's still so much that I haven't even uncovered, you know, as far as like levels and layers to the grief and it all. Nonetheless, I am moving forward and um, I appreciate you all's support and love and prayers. Um, while I appreciate the text calls and DMs, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming. So I've asked, you know, if the Lord lays my name on your heart or if you feel that urge to just send up a prayer for me. Um, and yeah, to look forward to God bring the victory out of this. And I don't want to sugarcoat my situation um, at all. I'm not trying to lessen how dark of a time this is because it has definitely been a very dark, very challenging time for my faith and all of the things, all of the above. So I'm definitely not trying to shoot toxic positivity out um, for anyone else who's maybe going through a really hard time and is wondering like, how am I talking right now and being encouraging to someone else through all of this. But it's all I have to hold on to. When you're treading water in the middle of the ocean, you have to hold on to whatever, whatever you can. And right now what I can hold on to is that I've seen God be faithful and I've seen him do miracles in my life. And while I've never had ashes, you know, as big as this, I've seen him turn um, ashes into beauty and bring beauty out of ashes. And so I just have to believe that this, will be a similar situation that in the end because he loves us and because of his promises all things literally all things not just the great things but the detrimental devastating things he still works them all for our good i don't know how he does it i don't know how he can turn things like this that truly rock our world into something great but i just am believing that he will so yeah um i love you all and hopefully very soon like i said i'll be able to get these vlogs up for you all and get you caught up and we'll just figure this future journey out together i suppose so thank you for loving me thank you for praying for me and i will see you guys um real soon bye